How's it going people? Sam and Slabber here, and this is your Desert Medium Task Set Guide. So let's get started. Quest Requirements. Need to have completed Eagle's Peak, The Feud, Spirits of the Elid, and Missing My Mummy. Skill Requirements, you'll be needing 45 Prayer, 45 Mining, 37 Range, 36 Herb Law, 35 Woodcut, 33 Crafting, 30 Agility, 25 Summoning, and 19 Strength. So, not a lot then. Item wise, you will need a crossbow, any kind will do, a mithril gravel, a draymon staff or the equivalent, a pyramid top, molten glass, a glass gl blowing pipe, your tool belt does work, a clean harrowlander, one pickaxe, your tool belt also works, one pouch for summoning, 51 spirit shards, one blue charm, one potato cactus and a hatchet, your tool belt does work, and you'll also want a rope which you can obtain during the actual tasks, but it's easier to bring one on at the start. Additionally, for Ali Morrison, if you don't have the option to do the little rune puzzle, then you will be needing three cowhides or three snake skins, and you'll have to do the little mini quest to actually open it for yourself. So with that said and done, first off, you want to start off all the way up here in Eagle's Peak, which is just west of Trinum Stronghold, and we'll start now. So straight away, head on up into Eagle's Peak, and we need to catch a ride over to the desert. For this, you'll be needing the rope, and you can find the rope just inside the actual peak itself. So if you didn't bring one, this is where you get it. So once you're inside, you need to make your way down towards the southeast side of the cave. There's no easy way to explain how to get it, but basically, go east, south, then west, and then south. Then east, and you'll hit a door. Head on through, and then carry on east. And this is where you check your eagles, just right click on them, and you need the desert eagle. So make sure you find the Desert Eagle, then use your rope on it. Make sure you don't have a weapon or shield equipped. And you'll catch a ride. So as soon as you've done that, you will have a task complete come up. Happy days. Next up, you want a home telly to Lumbridge. So, once you're in Lumbridge, you want to equip your crossbow and your myth gravel and head south through the graveyard and just to the east, right next to the river, you'll see a tree you can actually gravel to and you'll cross over into Al Karid. And it's this tree right here, just as you hit the Damonheim boats. So, as soon as you cross, that is another task complete. Next up, we need to speak to Ali Morrison in Al Karid, and we need to do a Rune Doku puzzle, which is basically Sudoku. So, if you've never done Sudoku before, the idea is you need to have different runes on every single line and make sure there's no doubles, whether it's vertical or horizontal. Yeah, hopefully that makes sense. If not, there's plenty of guides online of how to play Sudoku. Just apply the same rules as you would with that, except for using runes instead of numbers. If for whatever reason you can't do this little rune puzzle at Ali Morrison, you need to talk to him, accept his little mini quest, head up to Varak, talk to Auburn, or Aubrey, then you need to head down to Sophenum, hand three cowhides over, and then come back to Ali Morrison, and you will be given these options. Hopefully that made perfect sense. So once you've got these options you need to examine the box, the rune box, and this is what you'll see. It may be slightly different for you, as it's random every time. But the basic idea is to have different runes on every single level. 
and make sure there's no double of whatever rune in every line. So if you happen to have the same one I'm doing right now, then you've got it easy as you can just watch and copy. So as soon as you've done it, go ahead and confirm. And you can buy the runes if you want, that's entirely up to you. But as soon as you do, that will be another task done. So as soon as you finish that, we now need to teleport over to the bandit camp in the desert. So go ahead and do that. So once you're here, head south and then slightly to your west once you pass the canyon. And you'll hit the granite mines. Once you're here, you actually need to mine one granite, doesn't matter what size it is, as long as you mine the one. And as soon as you've done it, another task complete. So next up at this point we now need to home teleport once again and this time we're going to Yanil. So we now need to head north and we're going to be using the Fairy Ring so your Draymond Staff or if you've done the Fairy Tail quest up to the point where you no longer require it, just head on up and use it. So jump in and you'll be in Zanaris. Once you're in Zanaris, you want to use the Fairy Ring once again. And first off, we're going to BIQ, which is the Calphite layer. So as soon as you teleport, you'll then have another task done. You want to head back into Zanaris, so use the Fairy Ring once again. And this time, we need to go to DLQ, which is just south of Uza and north of Nada. So head on through. So from here you want to head almost directly east and slightly to your north, so east northeast. and constantly keep running eventually you will hit the sea wall and you'll either be in exactly the right place or you'll be where I am now so skip past this temple to start with and from here it's almost directly northeast and you'll hit the river and you'll see this right here we need to chop down one teak and as soon as you've done that that is task complete so next you want to double back down to that temple we just passed, which is directly to your southwest. And you want to head on inside. So as soon as you enter, head directly to the throne room. And once you're in here, you need to pray to Amascot, which is on the west side. So you do that, that is another task done. So head on out of the temple, and now we need to make our way over to Nara. So to get there from here, you want to head almost directly southwest. And the further you go in, you want to head more and more south as you do. Eventually you'll hit this water shoreline, and it's not far from here, and there it is. So finally, once you're in Nada, we now need to pray at the Elidna statue. You can find the Elidna statue just north of the fountain in the centre of town, which I actually just passed, 
I do believe. So as I said, the Lydna statue is in the centre of town, just north of the fountain, you'll find it in the large house. And you'll find it right here. So go ahead and pray at it. And that's another task done. So while we're in Nara, we now need to get ourselves a goat horn. So head out through the northwest of Nara. And almost immediately you will run into some goats. Go ahead and kill one. And hopefully you'll drop your desert goat horn. As soon as you've got that, you want to head back into town. And stand next to the fountain. And we now need to make a combat potion. So first off, glass blow your molten glass into a vial. You then want to use your vial on the fountain to fill it with water. Next up, you want to grind the desert goat horn into dust. Then use your Harolander on the vial of water. And finally, the ghost, well, the dust into it to make a combat pot. Which will be another task done. So next up, we need to make a calvite pouch. So, from the fountain, head almost directly west. And eventually, you will run into the summoning obelisk. So, finally, once you're here, simply head on in. And make yourself a calphite pouch. And as soon as you do, that's another task done. Now, lastly, all we need to do is head down to the Agility Pyramid. If you did bring a Fear Receptor, it's option 2. If you didn't, then it's slightly to your south. Either way, once you're down here, talk to Simon and sell him your Pyramid Top. If you don't have it, you can also complete the Pyramid while you're here. And as soon as you've done it, that is the Medium Task complete, so congratulations! So last thing to do, you now need to head over to Nada to grab your prize. Once you actually reach Nada, to get from to Nada from the Agility Pyramid, you just need to head to your northeastish. I'm doing it on screen now, so if you're unsure, you can simply watch and follow. But once you're in there, you need to head into the herbal shop and talk to Zahur. And she will end up giving you your Desert Amulet 2 and an XP lamp giving you 8000 XP in any skill of your choice. Now, what this Desert Amulet does for you is when you wear it, it reduces your failure rate at the Agility at the Agility pyra Pyramid, oh my god. You also gain 50 Molten Glass per day by using the Make Glass Desert Amulet option, but you do require Soda Ash for it, so it's slightly longer than using the Lunar Spells. And at all times, no matter what, you will gain a second Teak Tree near Uza. You'll also gain unlimited Teleports to Nada by right-clicking on the amulet itself. Goats have a chance to drop noted Desert Goat Horns, you gain 5% cheaper items in the Bazaar store, and 20 noted potato cactus can be obtained from the weird old man once a day. So all in all, not bad prize, as unlimited teleports and Nada saves quite a lot, especially if you want to decant your potions. So I'd highly recommend giving it a go, it is pretty quick, and I'll catch you all later for the hard tasks. Janna.